Hey everyone, it's Amador, and I'm here with the design team project for Art Attack, artattacksupplies.com. Um, I will leave, of course, a link to the store in the description, you guys. Um, I'm super excited about this project, and it's not even for me. Honestly, it's not for anyone yet. Um, I just know that um, several people are that I know are having babies or pregnant or, you know trying their dangness to get pregnant, um, and I wanted to maybe get a jump on on, the, on those projects, um, but, um, and I'm usually asked to do, like, baby shower um, parties to organize them or whatever, and it's crazy, but anyway, I went ahead and used the Kaiser Craft Pitter Patter Collection, and Tracy has this in both the pinks and the blues in uh, in the shop. So let me show you the actual papers. So it, these are the papers and that come with it. You guys might have seen it in my design team package uh, shoe. I used that. I used all of the papers actually. I used this sheet. And as you can see, I used several of the um, stickers. So let me go ahead because it has a full sheet, a full 12 by 12 sheet of stickers. So let me show you guys what I made. Super, super excited. And oh yes. Um, I also somewhat recorded the process, not every, like, little bit, so I don't have to, like, sit there and fast forward, because I still don't know how to do that on iMovie on my phone. Um, I might be able, I know I could do it on the computer, but not on the phone. But anyway, so I kind of did piece by piece kind of step, um, going into different steps on how I was doing it to kind of give you a, uh, an example of how I was doing. So I will post that video later today, um... Or as soon as I done, finished editing because there's like 50 parts to it. So anyway, but this is what I made. I totally, totally got excited. I don't even know where my, where did my, um, where my actual tie that I used. Um, I used that collection and I made this. Absolutely love it. This is a Sizzix die. It's the 3D crib. And I absolutely love it. And I used the paper collection, as you can see right here with the damask, um, paper on one side and then the other lighter damask on the other side and, and it's actually covering a sheet of heavyweight cardstock and check it it actually cradles it rocks um it's super simple you just have to do one of these the the whole body and then two of the sides so that there is the sweet sweet little crib okay so then i wanted to make a little mini to go inside and i used um a tag die, the alterations tag die that I've used on my projects before, and here is where I used the um, the cutout sheets to fill in the, to make up the pages. First, I made the tags, and then I covered it, and I it's it's a little dimensional, and I, and I show that in the video. Let's see here, this page, this part. Let me find the other paper. Oh my goodness, I thought I had them in order. Okay, so this is the cutout from there. And then here, I use this side for the inside of the crib. But here is a little banner right here, so you can see the difference. I cut it up to make it fit in there, in that card, so I can um, easily remove it from the little crib and it doesn't get so damaged. So, on each side, on each sheet, the, first, the front side has foam. It's the thin foam that I use. And... Um, I was going to embellish it, but I'll show you what I decided to do at the end. And so, yeah, so here it is. And this is some of my hand-dyed seam binding. Every one of the papers are on the tags, as you can see right here. And that is... Ooh, that's a little surprise at the end. Um, I totally just cut out the little cards. They each, they're each from... I didn't notice until I was actually cutting them up that they have, like, one month, two months, um, three, four... And each one is... A different uh, different design. Most of them are um, the size of the size for, that you can use for the pro project 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 pages or project life or whatnot, depending who's watching, so we don't get sued or something. Uh, eight months, and they some of them, like I said, have different shapes. Ten months, eleven. They're just super adorable. Twelve. So I was going to start, and so that is my cute little mini album, and I was going to start alt, uh, decorating it and showing and putting in stickers and whatnot, but then I thought, well, it'd be fun if it was interactive for the person getting it as well. So I decided to include the little, um, several of the, let me bring up the sticker sheet, 
several of the stickers. It has words, little handprints, footprints, this patchwork, um, the little um, tricycle and the rocking horse. So I was going to start putting them in there, but I'm like, you know what? That would be a cool way for the recipient to have it be interactive. But not only that, it's an easy way for them to attach their pictures. Because, you know, sometimes we give gifts to people that aren't, they want the crafty gifts, or they like crafty gifts, or they purchase, purchase them from you for somebody else, but that person might not be the most crafty person or not know, you know, how to go about it. So this way, they can actually add the pictures themselves. And I had to think of a way to add them in the mini, and I decided to do this little envelope, and this is the um, Stampin' Up! Um, scalloped envelope. All I did was just cut a strip of from the tags when I was die cutting them, a little strip of the leftover paper, and just glue it with a little bit of fold to give it space. And all I did was make the little envelope so you just stick in the little slot and it holds it there. So it looks like part of the actual um part of the actual mini album. So and here it is a little closer and I went ahead, as you can see, it has a little window. I went ahead and just passed it through my Big Shot again with, I think it was Spellbinder 17, label 17, to cut it out, put a, glued a little uh, sheet of acetate in there, and then all of the little pieces are right there, all tucked in there facing forward so you can see, um, so you can see them, and it just fits perfectly in here. So that way, I was going to just put it in the crib, but I'm like, what if it gets lost? What if it falls out? And here it is perfectly part of the actual um, of the actual mini. And if anything, when they're done using the little stickers, they can use it to put pictures in there as well. But yes, so that is the little mini I created. So, yep, totally, totally in love with this. Like, I just wish I had a baby now. Totally love it. And... Um, the little banner was left this way so they could put either the birth date or the name or the nickname or whatever of the baby. So, yeah, and it's it's still very dimensional as, you know, I like things, but I wanted it to fit in here and not uh, mess up any of the embellishments. So, yeah. So, there is my little project, you guys. I hope you like it. Let me know what you guys think. And go ahead and please visit um, Tracy's shop, and that's artotechsupplies.com. And just an FYI, next week, a bunch of stuff is coming in, and hopefully the new tilde is coming in as well. Can't wait to get my little hands on that stuff. So, yes. So, you guys go and check it out, and check out some of these awesome paper collections that Tracy has. She also has, like I said, the tildes. She has... Um, the Bella Rose, she has the first edition, she has Santoro, all of that stuff, you guys, and crazy, crazy prices, and shipping is awesome as well, she also combines shipping, you guys, so go ahead and check her out, and check out my little crib, totally love it, so yes, hope you guys like it, and I will talk to you guys soon, bye everyone!